Next up, and this is exciting because I was waiting for this all day. I actually did a Theta live stream and I talked about it real quick and I actually showed my Ledger live, but I didn't want to go through the whole thing. So I want to save it for when I actually got to record this video for uh, for YouTube because it's just a lot easier to do it in one way. All right, so uh, this is what's going on. Ledger swap, one place for everything crypto. So basically whatever is in your Ledger live, you can swap it for something else or your Ledger, you can swap it for something else. I'm hoping... And this is why I'm excited because I'm hoping that they have like a Theta token or maybe even a Celsius token. That'd be fantastic. And I could just swap it right there instead of going through the uh, decentralized exchanges, which is not a big deal. But, you know, I just thought it would be cool. So this just happened October 13th. I'm just a little behind the times. So I was thinking, well, if I don't know, maybe some people don't know. And uh, this is what's going on. So how does this work? Well, we can read this article, but let's just go through it because it's just faster to do it. So first thing up, I'm going to open up my Ledger Live, put in my super secret password. One, two, three, four, five. So here's my portfolio. I have it hidden. Okay, got to got to keep some secrets, right? But uh, what was cool about this was that when I opened it up, this little thing called swap wasn't there. I had to update it. And after I updated, then it was a nice little swap. So I click on swap. It says, welcome to swap. Uh, exchange crypto assets directly from your ledger device. Service is not available. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, what a bummer. Well, hey, I'd love to show it to you. But again, US gets posed. All right, continue to accept. Let me just see if I can do this and game the system. Continue. Five, nine, five, nine. Worthless. You are worthless ledger. Well, that was fun. All right. Thanks, America. You're really falling behind yet again. On some bright news, uh, I, I reached out the votes. I wanted them on the, the channel because I'm really uh, excited about uh, uh, voting as far as like blockchain voting, because I think uh, it can be a great thing. They've already done this. Let me show you real quick. Uh, in Jackson County, Oregon, uh, Republican Party of Arizona, uh, for also in Utah, uh, Massachusetts Democrats, Mass GOP, and they've, and uh, of course Utah County, they like talk about, but they've done this already in different formats uh, for different primaries and elections. So um, I, my question is this, we can open up a bank account online. We can find our soulmate online we can read and send government documents all day long online why can't we vote online what is the problem what is the big deal here about not being able to vote online we can verify everything in every single way i mean look look what just happened over here for pete's sakes they can find out that hey this isn't available in your country so why can't we vote it drives me insane so i reach out to votes and i go what's the problem what's going on why can't we have this nationwide and i'm gonna have the ceo on tomorrow so what I did was I, I put a post out and I said, hey, these guys are coming on tomorrow. What are your questions for them? And there's some really fantastic questions uh, so far. One from uh, Udream Interviews, what test runs have they done? We talked about that, but there was one here that was really good. And it was from Herman or German, what are you gonna say? He says, you can't rank ballots with blockchain, pal. And uh, these are some of the things that I want to ask the CEO. Also, I did this on Twitter and we have a uh, voting going on right now. The four, three questions I, I had were, how are the votes secure? How do you verify the voters? How do you prevent fraud? And then on top of that, other people have put their comments in. So whatever you have, either if you find it on YouTube or on Twitter, just put in there like what you want me to ask. And then I'll just aggregate them all and ask them all the questions. Because to me personally, I don't see why we can't do this. But I think the big reason is because just like when we saw saw, saw with Ledger Live, uh, America just continues to fall behind. I know in other countries, this is already commonplace. I think in Estonia, someone said they've been able to vote since 2005 in Estonia. Granted, it's a little bit smaller, but why can't you just take what's going on over there and put it on over here? So I don't understand. Anyhow, that's it for today. A little ticked off that I can't do that on Ledger, but hey, what are you going to do? Thanks for sticking with me through the uh, entire video. I really appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. One I think I'm going to put as the 500k Bitcoin because that one was we just talked about today. And the, the other one I'll let YouTube do its magic. And that's it. So thanks again. Really appreciate it. Uh, I will see you on the next one.